Hey, it's Trippy Total Transformations here, and I'm going to continue some readings. Uh, water signs, what this new moon is bringing you. Within this, remember this energy is to be used during the next six months. I'm going to start with Scorpio, but then I'll do Pisces and Cancer. Just cleanse the energy. And yes, this is organic sage. It's from a reservation for anybody if anybody wants to have that. If not, but anyways. Here we go. We're gonna tap into these numerology cards this sign and this for Scorpio. Maybe be separate or together, I'm not sure yet. Probably separate. Scorpio, what is this new moon needing you to let go of, release, or bring in? What's coming this new moon for you? Scorpio. And this is Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, as well as North Node. So, so Scorpio, you need to be aware of. You need, you got, it says you are very close to achieving your goal with the previous moon. You are, know you are good enough, Scorpio. You are good enough to get that promotion. You are good enough to find love. You are good enough to be a star. Some of you are destined to be superstars. Some of you... Uh, you're good enough to get that girl or that guy. Surrender to the divine. You need to surrender your attachment to the outcome that you're wanting. Because when we hold on to the attachment to the outcome, maybe we thought we were destined to have this job or be with this person or win the lottery or scratch off for 20000 or 50000 and and God, source, universe, creator, whatever you believe in or align with, wanted to bless you with a million. You see where I'm going with this? Don't sell yourself short. Be surrendered to the, your release the outcome. Maybe it's not the exact person or exact position or exact job you wanted or exact amount of money, but it's better than what you've ever imagined. You need to be bold and make the first move with cardinal moon Scorpio or someone that or something that you're wanting. The, there's energy that's gaining momentum for you, Scorpio, with the waxing moon. Your commitment is being tested. Fourth quarter moon. So if you feel like you're on your edge, Scorpio, and you just can't take it more, can't do it more, it's because your commitment is being tested to um, your, it could be your divine spirit team, you know, uh, or to see if you're ready for this greatness that you're destined for, Scorpio. It's about to blow some on, Scorpio. I was gonna stop, spirit, go ahead, tell me to go ahead and do one more shuffle. Here we have, uh, walk, work through your fear, Scorpio, with a new moon in Scorpio. This is the new moon in Aries, by the way. Balance your spirit, spirituality and practicality. Make sure you're doing your cleansing. Make sure you're meditating a couple times a day. Remember, we can listen to music and meditate. We can take a walk, do a while jogging to work. Um, it's kind of just when you kind of zone out. What comes to mind is your messages, okay? Um, Scorpio, you guys inhabit both dark and light. You don't take no shit. You guys are the change makers. Way bringers, I feel through different generations. Um, you're, it's, if you haven't step, stepped up into your role as sharing your gifts or sharing your knowledge, I don't care if it's growing a garden, working on car, vehicle, um, a sport, a music instrument, a talent, an art, something you do, art, you know, whatever. What is it that you're good at? What is it you used to do when you were a kid? What is it you have knowledge about? Share it. You're needed at this time. You know, we're, it's time for teamwork. I don't care. Race, color, color, nationality, religion, doesn't matter. It's time for us to share our knowledge of what we do know, what we are experts in. It doesn't matter what it is or what we have knowledge of if we're not an expert because it's needed at this time. We can all come together. We're going to need to come together. Prices of everything's going up. It's time to work together and be in unity. Scorpio, you're part of this. Dropping you in reach for your stars. Believe that you deserve it. You can achieve it, okay? Don't give up. Um, let's get some tarot out here. I'm going to clarify. If the love doesn't come out in this, then we will um, pull separate love cards, okay? I feel like somebody is... I feel like an emotional time for some of you. Some of you are having health issues. Uh, some of you... I feel like you don't look good enough in your family, but let's clarify that. Clarify you aren't good enough. Some, yeah, what is hidden will come to light, Scorpio? If you feel like people are hurt, hurting you, sabotaging you, talking bad about you behind your back. 
What if Arthur's going to be eliminated? Is somebody doing you wrong or going to get busted? Don't worry. One more. Yeah. It's going to be something unexpected. You're avoiding a tower. They're going to get the tower because you're bringing the hammer down. You are the... Your karma. A lot of time. Okay. Um, what is this gold or red? Scorpion is very close to cheating with this moon in marriage. Or, sorry. Well, yeah. The blindfold's about to come off. You might feel like you're at a standstill, Scorpio. A stalemate with someone, something, or within yourself. I feel like you're in your, your own head, though. You know, the energy is affecting you. You need to write, Scorpio, if you write, draw, make music, whatever it is. Manifest, write your affirmations. You are at, you're completing, you're completing a cycle, finishing it up. You're putting down your burdens, you're coming off the hill, you're, you're going to calmer waters, okay? What, what are these fears about for Scorpio? It has to do with your past, memories, uh, trauma, childhood trauma, wounds, okay? Yeah. You get bored easy. You need to find what you're interested in. Even if it's many things, you're bound to be. There it is. You're going to be in the spotlight. You're bound for stardom, a lot of you. Um, you're going to have the world in the palm of your hands. As long as you balance that light with dark, well, you know, because it's all good. It's not none of it's really... You just gotta have that balance, okay? You're gonna have generational wealth. This is a happy family. There's some of you, there's a partner coming, okay? Kids, happy kids, happy life, happy wife kind of thing. You know, same sex couple, different, different, pools of different sexes. What do they need to make the first move in? Where's Scorpio need to make the first move in? They're making a swords or they're about thoughts and intellect. An idea you guys have or an inspiration you're wanting to share. Yeah, don't wait on your ships. You gotta let present the idea and nurture it, water it, feed it like you would a seed that you're planting and growing in your garden, right? So when we manifest and we try to do things, we have to nurture it, we have to feed it, we have to water it, we have to baby it, kind of like a baby a child, or like a seed, the seed you put when you plant a garden, you fertilize it, you plant your seed, you water it, you till the soil first, you get it ready, right? That's your planting process, and then you water it, and you nurture it, and you go out and you. Make sure there's no dead leaves on it, no bugs on it, kind of like that. So that's like you nurturing your gift or your talent or the business that you want or um, the the baby, your project, okay, your inspiration. You are meant to share this with the world. It's going to bring you uh, success, happy home. It's going to build a solid foundation for your future. Something you've been planning for a long time. Is it, what energy is getting them in? Yeah, you're being called to bring balance. You, you, you reflected about something. You see things for what they are. You've done work. You're in your head a little bit, but you're coming out of that. Could be with a king of swords, king dingling energy. Like, oh, could have been, some of you could have been a cheater with a cancer. Or there could have been a cancer in your life that had, has done something wrong or upset you. But this could also be, if that doesn't resonate with you, it could be more fem, fem, masculine or feminine energy, a cheat, cheating type of energy. But also this could be... Someone, you know, you lost your felt like you lost your passion until you reflected, like maybe an external flame or family member or friend or something was holding you back and making you feel like you weren't the star, you weren't good enough, you weren't meant to shine, but you are meant to shine, Scorpio. You're clarify this commitment being tested. Yeah, this is gonna bring generational wealth. You are the star here. This is where you're in energy, breaking those generational trauma and curses. I feel like you are, you know, you're gonna. This is like. Money you can pass down to your family. You've been in a time of in a contemplation, but spirit wants you to take a giant leap forward to what it is you're wanting, Scorpio. What people, if it's a person, and you know you've been watching this person for a while, you like them and reach out. If it's um, a job, if it's a you know a business, a talent, an idea, go buy whatever, do it. Okay. Um. Anything else you need to do? Yeah, you've walked away from things that no longer served you. A lot of you mothers out there, you, you stay-at-home moms, especially talking to you. You guys, or even ones that work. Oh, look, King, Queen of Cups was beside themselves. There's a love match here. There is a energy coming in, possibly another, another water sign that makes your divine counterpart. Perfect match if you're already in a, a, a marriage, a partnership, or something. You're true, the end things are not good. Somebody's coming in fast. Just saying. 
when you're in your, they've been in their head, they've been judged, you don't want it no more. Like, this is a sudden idea. King of Pentacles energy. I feel like um, some of you are wanting to make money. Stay at home parents. Your talents. Your talents, like, teaching your kids what parent hacks do you have? What meals do you know how to cook? How do you know how to save a dime? Those kinds of things you guys need to be sharing. I don't care who you are, what you are. It's time that we take these small, these things that we think are really nothing that, you know, even if there's things that, you know, not things that are like in our ancestry are not supposed to pass down in our families. But if there's certain things that, you know, you think of others just knew this, or I know how to do that. And I can make, I can save, like I'm the queen of cheap. I can get a good sale. I got a coupon, whatever it is, share it. Share it. That's the key to you being able to turn it into something money wise. You know, it could just be a platform. It could be YouTube making videos. It could be sharing your story. But it's gonna lead you, you could run your own business. It's gonna give you an idea. But anyways, yeah, some judgments are gonna be passed upon this person who made you feel so little. Or who tried to steal your thunder or your shine. Um, I feel like a mother fought, uh, there was like a, maybe, could have been a parent, parental problems with parents, or problems with grandparents, problems with family, I don't know, but some of you feel like, you don't feel like you're good enough. Um, this new person is not going to run from you, that's coming in, we're going to pull a lot, talking about love for Scorpio, you know, well, anyway, they say, you're having issues in relationships, you want some kids, but this is for the singles, right, pretty much, hold on. Someone's been watching, looking, or stalking you, and you know it. You're trying to get away from this person. Something's going to happen really fast with this sudden change or shocking event. People's about to see who this person really is. You're like, nope, please, not today. I'm not putting up with it. The, the um, sword and the rose is here. You're going to get the clarity that you've been looking for. They, you're pre highly protected by God, your angels, your ancestors, your spirit, your universe, whatever you believe in spirit. Um... Someone may try to send a message of love through the internet. This could be family, could be lover. Checking of you, letting you know. They're trying, this person from your past is maybe trying to block this new person or this relationship for, you know, going to engagement or even you guys coming together. Someone wants to kiss you. There's unconditional love here. I see you falling in love. Something may be revived, something from the past, or if it's toxic, it's toxic, stay away from it. Go back to it. We don't, we don't play that game on my channel. We are only ones for the highest good, what we deserve. And we are kings and queens. We are empresses and emperors here. We want to be the best that we can be, all that we can be. And find that, if we're single, we want to find that counterpart that matches us so we can hustle together and build a team, build a foundation, right? Um, if you're, and even if you're single, you need to do it for you. Don't do it for anybody else. Do it for you. You deserve it. I see expansion and joy here. I also see a uh, vacation to the beach here soon for some of you near water, river, lake, or beach. I see uh, you're gonna find your oneness there. The water is gonna help you meditate and come in or just something about grounding on the beach is going to help you come into who you are or you may, may have recently taken a trip. You may, if you're single, you may also, and, and you're going with family or friends, you could meet someone there. I feel like spirit's setting you guys up to just like smack right into this person, okay? The butterfly is here. You've been in your cocoon. You're being rebirthed with your beautiful colors. Careful people stabbing you in the back. Remember, if you don't feel right in your stomach, you got that feeling, listen to your intuition. Set those boundaries. You need to let go of self-judgment. Cut it out. and No more. Okay? You are capable of being stable and secure. You can, you're, you, are, you are your own. You're learning to be your own best friend. Be a stable connection. This new person coming in is going to be very flexible. This, um, I see you and you've endured so so much. You feel like you're, you know, what's this going to happen? I'm running out of time. Time's up. It's coming. It's here. Okay. It'll come in. I feel within the next couple weeks to two months. I'm getting two 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 two. Okay. And four 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 is solid foundation. What does a house have to have so it doesn't fall over or a building, a structure, architecture, a solid foundation? That's what you're building within yourself, you know, by nurturing what it is you're building, okay? Um, let me get some angel answers. These are pretty shuffled, by the way. Sorry, guys. I'm going to get some angel answers and see if we can get any other time. Anyone on this? You can think of a yes or no question in case the word yes or no comes out. Yeah, that's a good a year okay from now to a year from now you're gonna be at a whole different place in life you're gonna look back and go damn i can't believe i really did that you're gonna have that new house that new car you're gonna have 
the following. You're going to have the business. You're going to have the job, the position, the thing, okay? Meditation will bring you your answers. No, that is about going back to the past. Oh, you have to believe in yourself. With this belief, you will not get it. It's coming in the near future, some of this. So money or love, money or love. You don't have one, you get the other, you're going to get the other. Or you guys are going to, the love will grow and blossom for some of you. And you will end up having a stable relationship, maybe even marriage with this person. And building a legacy, building something, investing in each other for the long term. Okay? Um, I'm going to pull. These are actually called Love Oracle, but... I like them because they have lots of different messages on them and they're inspirational. So let's see what we get here. What does my Scorpios need to know from now with this new moon and Leo for the next, next six months with their manifestations coming in? Try to be a rainbow in someone else's cloud, Scorpio. Release your worries and receive universal abundance. You're on your way to meeting your true love if you are... Wondering if that'll ever happen. Never give up on something you really want. That job, that thing, that love if it wasn't toxic. Let things go. Let things come and go. Stay calm. Don't let anything disturb your peace and carry it on. So you're being tested. Okay? I feel a little, I feel a little, um, I'm talking to you some narcissistic energy, abusive energy, a know-it-all energy, a, a huge, like high in, the, in that, that ego. You know, it's okay to feel feelings, to be sad, be mad, and you need to feel feelings right now uh, a lot of emotions are going crazy with people a lot of things are happening we are all being tested we have to work together it's called it's about teamwork right now for everybody and everything okay sorry my never here wanting to hop up here i'm like no anyways all right guys um i hope that this reading found you well i hope i didn't speak too fast um be coming out to you guys the next one will be uh pisces and cancer and then i'll do the earth and air signs i'll try to get them all in and then tonight depends on how fast youtube uploads them thanks guys